Okay, Rebecca, let's take a look at how we can fix up your background image here to make it darker. And then, of course, your colors all white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first inspect it and we'll play around with it a little bit. And then we'll go inside of ClickFunnels and look at it there. So let's go in and inspect the element. Let's move this over a little bit. And what we want to do is we want to come up to here where it says Container Inner. And we'll click on element and we'll just say we want the background color to be black. And I'll just type in the word black for now. And so now we set that to black. And we want, of course, the text to be white. So actually, I'm just going to go up here a little bit higher and I'm going to just put in color white. And it turned all your text white. You're going to have to turn each one of your text elements white on its own. You can't do this trick. This is just inside of the inspector. Now, one of the things we're going to see is you got room up here and you got room down here at the bottom. So we got to get rid of that spacing. And where that is, it's right here in the same element, which is your section element. And you have padding on the top and padding on the bottom. So we want to remove that. So we'll get rid of both of those paddings. So now everything pulled up nicely. Now let's go back to our container inner and go back to that black color. And let's just take a look at that. We'll click on the little black box, slide this over a little bit, and then we can change the opacity. So let's just slide it down some so the image in the background comes up. And we can change this from hex. Let's change this to RGBA so we can see what our opacity number is here. And we'll just uh, move it up and down. Let's just say you want it at 60. So we'll set it at 60. And so you figure that's about right. So when you go in, I'll give you the code for this. When you go in, just play around with this number a little bit. And you can change the darkness of the background. And now we got probably, let's say we need a little more padding here. So let's go to our row. And let's just see, let's increase the padding at the top a little bit. Okay, that's working. Let's go up to, let's say, 30. And then on the bottom as well, let's bring that up to 30. Oops, where'd I go to? Let's go here. Let's bring that up to 30 as well. Okay, so we got a little space at the top and the bottom. And I think that's probably pretty much what you want. So now let's go into the editor and I got everything set up here. Let's go into the CSS and I'll take out the CSS for now. And so let's take a look at what I did here. We went in, we created a wide section. So we picked the wide, which is what you had. We put in that image that you had and we made it 100% full width and we took out all padding in that section. Then in the row, we made a top padding of 30, a bottom padding of 40, and then the right padding, I, I did this, I pulled it in just to pull your text in some, because otherwise it was a little too wide, at least on my mock-up here. Yours is probably going to be just fine. And again, we can move the bottom up and down. 40, I thought, looked like a good place. And the same thing with the top. And that's pretty much it, except then in order to turn this background white, you need a little bit of CSS code. And uh, so in this example, this is the CSS code. Yours will be slightly different. And let me uh, save this. Let's uh, open this up in the template. Let's uh, reload it. And that's what it'll look like on my mock-up. And for your element in particular, this right down here is what you're going to want to type in because your section ID number is 11908. And I have, again, here the opacity set at 0.6. You could make this 0.65. You can make it any number you want between 0 and 1.0. So between 0, 0.0 and 1.0, you can make it any number you want for your opacity on the background. So that's it. I hope it helped you out. Uh, get back with me if you have any questions.